Good evening. Um, to go back in uh, memory time, um, a great victory in 2015. Um, can you tell us about that again? And how do you feel today with that memory? Uh, for sure, it's, uh, it was a it was a great uh, great victory over here. I mean, it's very emotional after the victory. It was a very special rally in one sense that um, there was many stages cancelled because the weather was getting very extreme, uh, a lot of rain and destroying the roads and and bridges and stuff. But yeah, at the end we we managed to do uh, uh, enough kilometers, and I think it was 250 kilometers. But um, especially, I mean the. The dry tarmac uh, on the final day of the day, if our final final uh, day of the rally was going really well, uh, I was that time. I it's it felt really the long stages on the final day. They were like the the race circuits, and and it really suited me. How do you feel with the Irish now for the first rally on tarmac or second rally uh, on tarmac? Well, it's uh, it's exciting. I mean, in the test when we were driving, the car felt good, and so in that ten time, I'm looking forward to the rally. Uh, we have done some improvements from since uh, Monte Carlo, uh, but of course, difficult to say exactly what which level we are compared to the others. Now it's the first time a proper time of rally we will see it, and um, but I mean, the most important thing is that you feel relaxed and you enjoy the driving. Okay. Finally, sir, um, what is the target for you? Uh, this weekend uh, on this rally, please? I think the target is if I'm in top five, then it's okay. If we are in top three, then it's perfect. I mean, there are drivers, Sebastian Rossier, uh, Terry Neville, Chris Mick, they will go really fast. They're going to be in, uh, in a very good position fighting, fighting for the victory, I think. I hope to be there challenging them, but uh, I don't take pressure. So just wait and see.